Peggy 18. I know we don't want to give away too much with the story, but what draws Corvo and Emily back into a conflict? Yeah, we're trying to avoid spoilers for everybody because uh, our fans get really serious and they get really irked if we, if we say the wrong thing and reveal too much. Uh, at the same time, everybody's always curious. So let's just say there's an inciting incident at the beginning of the game, and whether you're playing Corvo or Emily, you're an outlaw. You have to flee Dunwall Tower. And you have to head to the south, the southernmost city in the Empire of the Isles, Karnaka. And uh, you track down a series of quirky new targets. And uh, once again, you can play very brutally, or you can literally play the game without being seen or without killing anyone. Those are, those are still very much supported values. Um, so you're on the run, essentially. So you mentioned Karnaka just a few minutes ago. It's a new setting, but it's clearly in the world, but it looks different. What, what's different about where we are? Well, Karnaka is called the Jewel of the South. It's a warmer climate. It's uh, kind of modeled, if, if Dunwall is modeled after Scotland and England, Karnaka might be modeled after Greece or uh, Spain or Italy. It's, it's like Southern Europe. And so uh, there are warmer beaches there. People go uh, to sun and to recover their health and things like that. And our world is not exactly the real world, but it's kind of like our, uh, the real world in 1850s. And... Uh, those kind of places are, are what Karnaka represents. It's so lush and there's so many trees and so much more to do there, it looks like. Is that intentional? Uh, yeah, our art director is Sebastian Mitton and uh, he has an amazing team. Damien Laurent is our lead architect. Uh, Jean-Luc Monet is our assistant art director. Those guys are a powerful group of artists. And uh, so when we bring game systems and level design and narrative stuff to the table, they bring as much from their side. And uh, so early on, they had a strong vision for what uh, the flora and fauna from uh, Karnaka would be and how it would feel different than the chilly, cold uh, British n nature of Dunwall. We didn't see any rats there, though. I mean, but we did see some really icky bugs. Yeah, so these are blood flies. They nest in corpses, and the more corpses there are, the more blood flies there are. And uh, they hover in a swarm around their nests or around the corpses. And if you get too close to them, you can, you can sneak if you're near them and move slowly and they won't, you won't uh, disturb them. If you get too close, they attack you. But it's a dynamic system. This is something uh, Dinga, again, Dinga Bakaba, our lead designer, and I worked out where um, with our game design team, if you kill somebody and you leave the body behind and a blood fly finds it, they lay ne eggs in the, bl in the body and another swarm of blood flies eventually will hatch out of the body. So you have another environmental hazard. So it's dynamic. You're encouraged to like take the body and, and deal with it. <laughs> 